Howdy folks, John here. Welcome to part two of OpenTX for RC helicopters. In part one, we created a template for externally mixed CCPM helicopters. That would include all modern day flybarless helicopters and older vintage flybarred helicopters that use mechanical swash mixing. And in part two today, we're gonna to be creating a template for all helicopters that use internal radio CCPM mixing which would be most flybarred helicopters that have electronic CCPM or ECCPM. And it will also include uh, flybarless helicopters that use flybarless systems that don't do any of the swash mixing in the flybarless system itself. They rely on the mixing done within the radio. And the only prerequisite for part two is that you have watched part one and you've created the template from part one because we're just gonna be duplicating that template and then uh, modifying it to give us our internal mixing. Let's get started. Just as in part one, I've got a list out of what we're gonna want our template to be able to achieve. You can pause the video if you want to take a peek at this. I'll give you a hint though, this is identical to the external swashplate CCPM template. I have just added this one extra function at the top, create three internal eCCPM weighted mixes. And that's all we're gonna be doing. This video is actually gonna be fairly short because we've already done all this other stuff in part one. In your radio, just select the Heli No Mix model. And once it's selected, just click and we're gonna duplicate the model. Okay, now we're gonna select this new duplicated model. So we can change the name. Okay, we're gonna go into our model setup here and we're gonna change this to heli, let's call it 120 mix. Okay, that's all we have to do in the setup menu. Now we're gonna go into heli setup. This is our first deviation from our external mix setup, which we left all of this blank, if you recall. Now this is where we're gonna actually put our weighted mixes for our internal swash mixing. So the first thing you have to know is what swash type you've got. I think it's safe to say that 95% of the helicopters out there are probably running 120 degree swash plates. That just means that the three ears on the swash plate are placed equally 120 degrees apart. We've also got 120X. Uh, that would be a basically a 120 degree swash that's sideways. Instead of the elevator at the back, it would be uh, kind of on the side. Pretty rare, but it does exist. 140 uh, JR helicopters, primarily, and 90. Don't even know anything out there right now that's using 90. I set my internal mix template up for 120 because that's all I've got. Swash ring, we won't worry about it. If you're curious what it is, uh, just imagine, here's our cyclic stick, swash ring, limits the far corners of travel. And this would prevent your swash plate from binding, especially at maximum low and maximum high collective angles. I have never worried about it. I've never run into a problem. But after you set up your helicopter, if you notice that the swash plate is binding in the extreme travels of cyclic while at extreme low or high collective, you can put swash ring value in here. The lower the value, the more reduction. If you had one in here, you would get no swash plate movement at all. If you have 100%, you get basically maximum movement, just as if you had zero. So we're just gonna keep that at zero. Now our long cyclic source, this is going to be our elevator mix. So we're gonna move this until we get to elevator. You don't want the little stick showing, you want the mix symbol showing. Weight, uh, this is the, your mix weights. For any of you who've got my swash plate ebook, this is gonna be very familiar. I'll fire a link in the description and up in the little card doodad for those of you who don't, but I go into great detail of how to set your, your weights. This basically dictates how much mixing you have. So the higher the percentage value you put in here, the more mix travel you're gonna have and depending if it's negative or positive, will reverse the direction of mix. 
So say we moved our cyclic stick to the right, basically right aileron, and you saw your swash plate tilt left with whatever value you've got here, then you would change it to a negative value or vice versa. But again, my swash plate uh, setup and leveling ebook goes over this in a lot more detail. So as I show in that ebook, I set all these to 60% to start with. And they may go up or may go down slightly from that. Okay, our lateral cyclic source is going to be aileron. Again, weight 60%. And the last one, this is a funny one. We can't really set it yet because we have to make a phantom or pseudo channel up for this. Channel six is as high as we go because that's all that we had set up previously in the external mix template here. So we're gonna have to come back to this after we set up our phantom channel, but we can set our weight right now. Again, positive 60%. Now that's done, we will go to our mixes right here. Again, we're using Spectrum JR channel mapping order, which is throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, and collective is on channel six. So first thing we are gonna do is find our aileron and elevator mix. And we're gonna change these to our weighted cyclic inputs. So edit. Now source here, instead of aileron, we're going to have our cyclic two right there. Oops. Leave it at hundred percent. Don't change anything else in here. You could name this if you wanted. I never bother. And then for channel three, which is elevator, we're going to change this to cyclic one. Now, the next thing we have to do here, channel six is actually gonna be cyclic three, but this is where we've got all our pitch curves set up. And we have to move our pitch curves to our phantom channel that we're gonna create. Now, it can be basically any channel that you don't use so I'm gonna create this phantom channel on channel 10. It's just because that's what I'm used to. But again, you could set it up on any channel you want, as long as it's not a channel that you think you will ever use on a helicopter in your receiver. So what I'm gonna do here is we have to move all our pitch curves down to channel 10. And to do that, you just highlight them and you move. And we will move it down to channel 10. And we will do the same with the other three here. Okay, so just make sure you've got them all in the right order. We've got our pitch normal, pitch one, pitch two, pitch hold. So whatever, when you select, it will override the previous one. If you remember from part one, we've got our multiplexing set to replace. That's very important for each one. So it will replace it in sequence as you select them. And they're all on channel 10 there. Okay, and then channel six, we have to edit it. And it is going to be cyclic three. Okay, let's look at this again. So we've got throttle on channel one. We've got cyclic two on our aileron channel, cyclic one on our elevator channel. Rudder stays the same, so is channel five, which is generally gyro gain or stabilization selection. And then uh, channel six is our cyclic three mix. 
and then channel 10, our phantom channel, is where we've got all our pitch curves for the weighted mix. Now we're going to go back to our heli setup and our collective pitch source. Now that we've created that phantom channel, we can select it. And that's really all there is to it. Now let's just see if it's going to work. Let's just get out of here. We'll go into our channel monitors. I'm just going to zoom out so you can see me moving the sticks here. Okay, so what we want to see is channel 2, channel 3, and channel 6. So those are three swash plate servos. So when I move the collective stick, I'm going to want to see all those moving exactly at the same time, the same amount, which would mean our swash plate is staying nice and level as it's moving, which is exactly what it's doing. If we move into our Acro mode, we've got a larger collective range, so we've got more output, so our swash plate is moving even more. If we move into our full 3D range, Shit is about to get real. we've got a full linear collective pitch curve, we've got the full amount of travel at 60%, because remember that was what we used in our weighted mixes with 60%. So if you had too much collective travel, you would turn your collective mix down. Let's just do that as an example here. Go back into model setup. Oops, I guess I gotta get out of that. Go back into heli. And we're gonna move our collective weight down to, let's go down to 30%. So you can just see how that changes the outputs. So now you'll see it's only 30% travel. And same with aileron, we would expect our channel 2 and our collective channel to move because they're on the two sides of the swash plate, which they're doing. If we go to zero pitch, which is zero that out, you should see them moving the exact same amount in opposite directions, which they're doing. Turn dual rates off. There we've got more. And if we give elevator, we'll see channel two and channel six moving together and channel three moving in the opposite direction. And this is what it'll look like on the helicopter. So we can't see the elevator servo because it's at the back, but here we can see our aileron and our pitch servo. So when I move the collective, all three servos are moving together they're all being mixed together to move the swash plate up and down. When I give cyclic roll, the aileron and pitch servos are mixed so they move opposite to each other to give us our cyclic roll and our swash plate tilt. When I give elevator, the aileron and collective servo will move in the same direction and the uh, elevator servo is moving in the opposite direction to tilt the swash forwards or backwards. Just as with a traditional computerized radio, and as I outlined in my swash plate ebook, your channel output menu is going to be used quite a bit when you're setting up an ECCPM flybard helicopter. You're going to be using your channel reverser selection to ensure all three swash plate servos are interacting in the correct direction to each other. You're going to be using your centering position to fine tune the servo arm when you're at zero collective. You're going to want it perfectly level, which generally means at a perfectly right angle to the main mast. You know, get perfect uh, swash plate geometry, all that good stuff. And you're going to be using your low and high travel limit adjustment for your three swash plate servos to ensure the swash plate remains perfectly level at high collective and low collective after you mechanically level it perfectly at zero on your pitch curve. So now that you've got your two OpenTX heli templates, one for external CCPM mixing and one for internal CCPM mixing, you can pretty much set up any RC helicopter out there. You know, you just duplicate whatever template you need for that specific heli, tweak the settings and set up the bird. I'm just going to quickly show you 
uh, one more level you can take these templates to make two more. Remember this is with uh, Spectrum JR channel mapping order, throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder. But if you want a uh, Futaba channel mapping order, you could make those two templates as well. And that's exactly what I've done. Just go into my uh, 3D helis here. And right at the bottom, you'll see I actually have four templates. I've got the two that we just made in part one and part two, a Heli No Mix and a Heli 120 Mix. But then I've also got an AETR Futaba channel mapping order, No Mix, and an AETR 120 Mix. And all I did, duplicated each one and just changed the channel mapping order. So if we go into the No Mix one, select it. And you can see in the channel mapping order before when it was in Spectrum JR throttle aileron elevator rudder, the throttle curves were on channel one and I just uh, moved them down to channel three, just like I moved the pitch curves down to our uh, Phantom channel 10 when we were making that uh, mix and then just moved aileron and elevator up. Super simple. So with those four base templates, I can pretty much set up any heli out there. And again, this is just my uh, OpenTX template method based largely off of uh, OpenTX universities and tweaked to my liking. Thanks so much for watching, folks. We'll see you next time. Happy OpenTX heli setup.